hi welcome back to my channel it's your girl jazzy j and i'm back with another video so if you read the title or if you clicked on this video that means you're trying to get into a routine trying to start a new journey in your health i mean maybe you're just trying to lose a few pounds or maybe you're just trying to lose a lot of pounds shoot girl i feel that but yeah so today's video i'm gonna give you some five tips on how to get started stay consistent things of that sort and how to just kickstart your health journey um and then towards the end of the video i really like to vlog so i included a vlog of like my first three days and give you some some food at the grocery store give you some workouts i did and just give you overall some motivation so if you like the video go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel more content on the way if you want to kick start and you need some motivation go ahead and subscribe because girl it's coming and we're gonna be motivated together all right tip number one accountability so you're gonna need to be accountable either you gotta hold yourself accountable or you gotta get someone to hold you accountable nine times out of ten if you have someone holding you accountable you're gonna succeed you're gonna reach your goals so accountability what does that look like that looks like having someone to work out with, someone you updating on your progress that is like, so where's the progress? What you do this week? Oh, I worked out three times this week. Okay, girl, I see you. So that way, when you're about to reach your accountability partner, you're like, I got to work out this week because I'm going to talk to my accountability partner and she's going to be like, what, 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 the, what we doing? You know, or just yourself journal. Um, for me, it's making these YouTube videos, being consistent on here. It's working out with my sister. So those two things got me holding me accountable. So yeah, step number one, make sure you have accountability with yourself. Try, try, try hard to find someone that can hold you accountable because that's really what's going to push you is someone else. Sometimes we can't push ourselves as much as we think. Um, and we need that extra push from someone else. So tip number two. Tip number two is you want to build progressively. So you want to progressively keep building. So you want to take them small steps and start to make larger steps. It's okay to start small. You just want to make sure you're improving each day or each week. So boom, if I only was able to go to the gym, if your goal is to go to the gym four, time, four to five times a week and you're first starting off, and you're like, dang, I only went to the gym three times. That's okay. You went to the gym three times, girl. You get what I'm saying? Now, next week, we're going to go to gym four times. You know what I'm saying? We want to progressively build, progressively build. And that's the same thing with, like, lifting weights and stuff. You don't start at a freaking 10, 15-pound weight. You start small and you progressively build. That's where you're going to see your progress. So just starting small so then that way you can just reach new levels each and every day. All right, tip number three. You want to build lifestyle changes. This isn't, oh, I'm just trying to lose all this weight, da 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 um, so I can look good on my birthday. No, that might be the goal. That might be what pushes you, what motivates you for now. But you want to make it like a lifestyle. You want to make sure like, okay, I'm eating this because no, I'm not sad eating this. Or no, it's like, oh, I'm eating this salad. No, girl, you want to be like, I'm eating this salad. It got me feeling good. It got my energy high. It got me going. You know what I mean? It's lifestyle changes. To be honest, some of the foods that we got, these fast foods, this, our world was not built like that. You get what I'm saying? Our bodies was, are not built like that. Why do you think America, if you live in America, why do you think America suffers from obesity? Because we have all these influences that are just like, just so bad for us. Other countries do not eat like how we freaking eat and it's just so bad. So try to build lifestyle changes because overall, that's what's going to take you the long run. That's what's going to keep you good with your high blood pressure. That's what's going to keep your diabetes low if you're running your family. Stuff like that. Making lifestyle changes so we can progressively improve our world, our life. Period. 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 Step number four. Figure out what works for you. Everyone is different. Everyone's going to have their own way about going about it you know what i mean some people like to work out early in the morning as soon as they wake up that's a me thing if i don't do it in early in the morning then afternoon come i'm not, i ain't got no motivation you get what i'm saying so figure out what works for you and go with that 
dieting figure out what diet works for you is it intermediate fasting is it counting calories is it just eating healthy overall you get what i'm saying is it just i'm just gonna start to eat less i eat a little too much i'm a little over eater every time i eat i gotta have two plates you know what i mean figure out what works for you what's working for you and keep it going if it's not working for you you see no results evaluate what you're doing and evaluate what you can change and what works and stick to what works for me right now i like to intermediate fast so i don't eat till like noon um i like to work out early in the morning these are things that work for me my schedule what i like how i see results simple as that five pay attention to your small successes there's no such thing as that's not enough or omg i lost one pound i only lost one pound my like, girl you lost one pound congratulations or oh, my weight oh, is consistent, consistent this week. week okay give yourself a pat on the back girl you didn't get no weight did you be looking in the mirror just looking in the mirror be like oh i see my little i see my little in the waist okay when you pay attention to your small successes you're not the only thing you're gonna see is more success so if you pay attention to how much weight you're losing how much you're getting slimmer my stomach look a little flatter the more you pay attention to these little things the more you're going to be able to see it if you're like oh can't see no results oh the scale's not going to go anywhere then nine times out of ten you're not even acknowledging the small things so you're not going to be able to see the big things and it doesn't happen overnight right so acknowledge these little successes so then that way we can keep building and keep seeing more and and it just keeps us motivated as well. The more you acknowledge the small things you're doing, the more you want to push to keep doing more so you can acknowledge more and more things, right? Because if you're upset that you're not losing weight or this is not happening or you're not seeing nothing, you're going to give up. And you're going to be like, I'm over. It's done. Whatever. So acknowledge the small things. I worked out three times this week. Go off, girl. Okay. Things like that. Acknowledge the small successes so that more can come in. All right, last thing I want to say is building habits. I just, last week I heard this thing and it really stuck with me. And I was like, I got to tell them this on the tube because I like the little tip. So what I heard, it says it takes 21 days to build a habit. You've probably heard that one, right? But on top of that, it takes 66 days to make it an actual habit in your life. You get what I'm saying? Something you really do, something that's genuine to you now after that it takes 90 days to build a lifestyle so with me saying this is me saying keep it going keep it consistent keep building keep progressing acknowledge your small things and keep going girl we got this we got it we already got it we already got it because it's in us not on us period them extra pounds they're not on us <laughs> say god play but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog part of this video and you see my first three days. I look like a little bum, you know, whatever. Um, I was working out. I don't be doing too much to work out. to one go work out got my waist trainer on about to finish changing my clothes y'all just see me get ready do my hair wash my face whatever two we gotta go to the grocery store we gotta get some food um i bought some groceries already so i'm just buying a few things and then i want to make a lemon water today and i want to definitely get a salad and then after that we chilling but that's gonna kick start our morning it is about like 9 30 um and so yes continue watching and let's go all right y'all so we currently walk in at this park i never been to um yeah if you see the background if you know you know but yeah i'm just walking around this park 
it looked like they had a basketball court. So we could do some small size, y'all. Um, I got the jump rope with me. So yeah. But yeah. I'm gonna show y'all some workouts today. I was gonna get it in. I feel like I've been real awkward on the YouTube. I haven't done a video in nine months. I mean, I really, really trying to change a lot of things. Um, been doing it. So this is one of them. I'm gonna the part. Y'all, look what they got at the park. So basically, it's workout, like, bitch. And then you can do abs on here, bitch. It's a little dirty, you said the verb, but. Little, got me with the Y'all, I've been working out, as you can tell, by the tomato we face. And I done forgot about y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, we back walking. All right, so later in the day after my workout, I decided to get a wrap from Publix, which is way more healthier than getting a regular sandwich. So I would suggest making that switch if you wanted to do something like that. And then, like I said, I wanted to make myself a lemon and cucumber water. So that's what I did. I would recommend this. It's a great detox. And maybe just try drinking it for a, like a gallon between like one or two days. And your body is really going to feel that cleanse. Good morning. So it's day three on our little journey, y'all. Uh, yeah, I've been day three, honey. You day two. But we just walked the park today. Something light because. People tired. Tired. She's sore. She people. I'm people. <laughs> I'm sore. But you know, we had to push through and get a walk in and relieve that tension in the mind. Alright, y'all. So we're going to go to the grocery store. My little radio is so loud. Alright, so we're going to go to the grocery store. Um, I'm going to try to vlog in there and show y'all some things that I get um, that kind of help me like eat right. But I be a little nervous, so I'm gonna try. We'll see what we get. Like even just cars driving past for a second, I'll be like, <laughs> I freeze up. But yeah, 
hopefully this vlog is vlogging and if you messing with it go ahead like comment and most importantly go ahead and subscribe because i secured the secret recipe so these right here are worms um we just left petco um and basically these are gonna make you lose about 25 to 30 pounds a day it's like i'm playing <laughs> All right, y'all, so them crickets was for my sister. <laughs> but, yeah, she told me to pick, she needed me to pick them up for her. Um, cause she has a bearded dragon. But, yeah, now we're on our way to Walmart, and I'm going to show y'all some things. So, I don't think I could come to a grocery store here and it not be packed, but... So far, I got stuff to make salsa and a little guac because I love that. And I'm gonna have a little taco night tomorrow with some lettuce boat tacos. I'm upset, I forgot my mask. I'm real upset. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we back from the grocery store. I'm gonna show y'all just a little bit of like what I got. Um, just so y'all can like see what it is that I got. <laughs> Basically, what I said, but yeah, I'm not gonna show y'all everything, but just a little something. I didn't like this board, <laughs> so y'all know. But the next thing I got is basically some salmon, and then I got this spicy mayo because I make my own little like popo bussin. Bussin, bussin. And you can make it without rice. Like, you don't need, like... So, I do... Nah, I'm not gonna put y'all on the secrets. Y'all just gonna have to wait for another video. But fire, fire. This thing I got, y'all saw me get at the store was this lettuce boat. Um, basically, I cut it up for salads. And then I also use it for, um... Tacos. When I don't do, like, no tortilla or no shell or nothing. This is what the tacos wrap in. So boom. Like some fruit, you got some pineapples. And then I want a little sweet, so I got this yogurt. Um, I never got this before, but I just wanted to have a variety pack because I'm gonna share it. So I got this big yo play. They're probably not the best for you, but it's not like I'm about to be tearing them up, so yeah. And then I got just a few other things, nothing major. Um, but yeah. That's a few things I got. Hopefully you like, comment, and lastly you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I'm scared. Look. Yeah, girl. Tear it up. Uh-huh. Bussin' in it.